Um, cool. Five ninety four. Uh, longest homunculus, harmonious, subsequence, subsequent. Man, I can. It's a mouthful today. We define a homon. Man, this spelling things too. Hum, harmonious. We define a harmonious array as an array where the difference between the ma its maximum value and its minimum value is exactly one. Now, given an integer array, you need to find the length of its longest homogeneous subsequence among all its possible subsequences. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, ooh, 20,000. That's tricky. Uh, so, subsequence, I think I always get this one a little tricky is um, kind of uh, I always mixed up subsequence and subarray or sub something there are a lot of things where like it, it matters where you skip letters or not is the, the kind of tricky one I think this one is uh, for me uh, my my gut instinct is that um, well, n is going to be 20,000, so you can do like some n squared type thing. Uh, so, yep, you could do it in linear time. Uh, and I'll probably use a hash table here, where instead of matching just based on one number, you want to match also the, uh, the adjacent numbers, because uh, the difference is exactly one, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so as long as you're consistent in the direction, I think that should be okay. So let's get right to it. Um, well, let me take it. Oh, I've been actually trying to do more Python 3, so let me try. Oh, oops. Okay, I guess I'll just type it again. So definitely if you're a Python 3 expert and I'm doing something really non Pythonic. Definitely leave it leave a comment. I definitely always, you know, uh try to learn and keep on growing and all that stuff. <laughs> um but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now just that D of X equals uh number of X's and X plus ones. So I think that should make it clear. In notes um X and also the uh, so the longest yeah, okay And then it's just taking the max of these the values. I think I could probably do it in full comprehension somewhere actually. Is it that values? Man, maybe uh oh no, it's not numbs. Oops, the other one. But uh probably doing like a one line profiling thing. I've been trying to get a little bit better about it, so I mean I think this is right. But uh right, let's submit first. Yeah, okay, let's just submit it. Maybe I could test example case some more though. Ooh, no. Huh. Oh, it's exactly one, not at most one. Okay, so I did miss read slash didn't read correctly. Uh, okay, so it's a slightly trickier thing, especially in this case where, you know. Um, hmm. In that case, we could just keep a boolean value just to kind of... Oh, like a flag or something. But it's, it's essentially the same thing. You just kind of keep the same, uh, like keep track of whether for a given number that it, it used both x and x plus 1. But, and I'm glad that this was not a contest because then I would have gotten, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, not so good. Uh, plus 5 minutes, so I shipped it. Reading is hard. Okay, how do I want to do it? Uh, I'll just keep do a mask. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, I have my sound really up loud and someone just pinged me on text message. I don't know how to... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it again later. That was very really loud. But... Uh, so... Uh, two. Okay. Oh, I guess now you do need the uh, the keys. What's the thing with the thing? How do I get both key and values? It is like I always forget the parameter. Oh, iter items. Or oh, just items, okay. Um, so keys. Uh, and I will explain this on a little bit because I think I do, do something like a little bit weird, but or at least not a uh, super easy to read. Okay, cool. Uh, wow, really slow. <laughs> uh, probably good done faster, I think. Uh, but <laughs> uh, can I have done that much faster? I mean, it is all end, so you you can't do that much faster. But I probably. Um, Hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, not sure. Maybe I'll take a look at it later. But um, but yeah, I mean, I, but same thing, which is that uh, uh, I guess we could have actually just hash the table and then. Uh, yeah, maybe I didn't need to do this actually. Maybe I could just do it in one pass and then just check. The sum of the current number plus the last number, or one minus one. Okay, I mean, so I definitely did uh, unnecessary work here. I, I was, I think that's, um, I think one thing to be said uh, is that sometimes you need to figure out when you need to uh, mentally reset on a problem. Uh, for me, I just kind of hack things on top of uh, a previous notion that I had, which is why it's a little uh, uh, looks a little strange because uh, you could have actually done something like. Um, just some a easier thing maybe been to do like uh yeah so like why you plus minus one best and then also check the plus one version and stuff like that right so I think that this is more uh, probably intuitive and then you don't need to see thing um but but given that we already did so what I did is just this is a bit mask uh containing the two things so uh so we just this track this checks that it got both those bits to be true. Uh, in that case, then we do the max. Uh, but you know, functionally, this is probably like uh, uh, less error prone. So I would probably have tried to done something like this, but I wasn't thinking that much. I try to get it out as quick as possible. In which, uh, wow, still nine minutes. Am I really that slow? Uh, maybe I was talking a bit. But yeah, but uh, but yeah, overall, a straightforward. Uh, Minus my weirdness, use of hash tables. I think this is a, it's a problem, uh, especially this version, which I think probably is more intuitive to people. To be honest, uh, probably, uh, yeah, um, yeah, probably. I, I could def. I mean, uh, anything that only uses a hash table and nothing else probably could come up in an interview. I wouldn't surprise. Uh, I mean. It, Unless there's really something tricky about it, this is not one of those cases. So I definitely would make sure you just practice this up. It's a easy, so uh, so yeah, definitely should be in your arsenal and don't do what I did actually. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I mean it's a straightforward problem. I think so. I'm not gonna get into it that much. Uh, cool. Uh, hey, Sneeko. Uh, hope that's it. Made to say your name because otherwise that's you know. Uh, Wim can. I actually don't use Wim. I use Emacs, but uh, but I in general. But I don't know if that helps me. Uh, let me look at that problem for a second and see if I could <laughs> play with some configs. I don't I actually don't play around with this that enough. Uh, 
Is there like a ooh? Oh, that's just colors though, right? Standard. Oh, there's a Emacs thing. Huh. I actually never know, never played around it. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing actually, maybe. But um hmm. Hmm. I don't use I mean I use my meta keys and the meta keys don't do much so I don't know what's what's the Emacs settings here. Um Hmm. Maybe I'll look at I'll look into it another time. But though I I would admit that I've been doing this for half a year or so or you know, 